Okay. So, it's been a while. I have a bit of new gear in a different class. I'm the assassin, again. And I sort of figured out what I was doing wrong. So, the way stats work in this game is that whenever you level up, you get a certain amount of stats. It's not like a super linear progression based on what vocation you're playing. And because I started as a strider, and I leveled that up a bit, and then I became a ranger, leveled that up a bit, and then I was a warrior for a little bit, and then I was an assassin for a long, long time. I have no goddamn magic. I have no magic. I can't, have, like, attacking with magic is almost totally useless to me unless my weapons just got enchanted by something. So this basically means that if I try and use, like, say that bow I was using, for example, that's magic-based. I'm going to do almost no damage with it, like, pretty much no matter how I spin it. Which is why my daggers were doing, like, what looked like godly damage, comparatively. Whereas with this, this bow is going to do, like, double. Just because it's not a magical bow. So that's what my, like, incredible problem was. Uh, my other problem was that, uh... Evidently, warriors are, like, pawns are not good warriors. So I turned Guts into a ranger. And he's a ranger now. He's using that magic bow just because it's got good enough stats. And just because I don't really care as long as he uses, like, that gambit move. So until I can get him a physical bow, that's what he's doing. And the other thing is I switched to a build that, like, just, like, lets me grab onto guys, like, super a lot. And, like, my bow is pretty good for, like, knocking down enemies at range and stuff like that. And also, I found this door at the top of this place. So we're going to go explore that. And just see what happens. Because I should be just doing so much better now. The Rotunda of Dread. An evil eye? Alright, it's just right down there. How about that shit? Hope it sees me. Kill all these little baby eyes. What is hitting me? Did I miss one? I oh, know, I just had its little little bastard. Can negate our magic. I think I don't use magic anymore. Okay. Yeah, da, 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 da. Is he back? He is back. Oh shit, here we go. Time to go to town. There we go. Me and Guts doing this. That's the stuff. <sighs> ah. It feels so good to do damage. Granted, we're on a much higher floor. So 
so it remains to be seen if that will uh, be carrying into the lower depths, which is where we will be headed next. It should carry down there. It should. Alright, the Ratwood Depository. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to run past everything in this fucking room. Because I have done this room twice, and I don't want to do it again. Okay. Awesome. Everyone lived. All right, let's kill this guy. See how great that goes whenever I don't, like, have no damage? Like, comparative to, like, the other two times I came in here, that was absolutely the best. And I was hoping he wasn't going to summon these guys, because uh, other things that I learned is that the more enemies that you kill in an area, the more that, uh, like, big badasses spawn. So what I'm going to try and do is if I see any big badasses, I'm just, I'm just going to run. Like, that's the goal, is just, just to get the fuck out of dodge. And I might end up doing that anyway, just because I really don't want to fight the humans in this room. Right, let's at least get down there in, like, good time. Because, like, I want to have as much time as possible to fight these humans. Before something like this happens. Alright, going, going, going. So instead of dealing with that, I'm just going to duck out. Because that room is super shit. Okay, the Bloodless Stockade. That's fine. Jane, you heal us. Now, uh, considering how insane that last room was, I assume this is going to be super hard, but I can't possibly imagine it's going to be as difficult. I have another door right here. That's weird. Hmm. This looks like that other room I was in. This guy is very magic resistant. Uh, one of the big dudes. Please don't go in there. That's a bad idea. Hello. Da, 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 da. Uh. Oh. That's fine. At least I know they have that ability now. See, there you go. See, that went fine. Much better. Uh, well, there is a box in there, so I'm just going to open it. I'm personally surprised that it didn't do like the same exact trap. Okay. Yeah, 
see with this damage, like I've just got a much better, I'll just get, it's a much better hold on things. Like those Minotaur guys are like boss level enemies, so I should have been doing about that much damage to them now that I'm like at this level. Like, pretty much the entire time I had been doing everything else, I was just doing it completely wrong. Okay. Speed myself up. I thought there was water in here. Oh. There we go. See, that's fine. Jesus. Nice job, Guts. See, a pawn can use that move very effectively. What a pawn cannot do very effectively is get in close. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I, spent, I spent some time with my pawn. I'm full health. I am full health. And it is—it just feels so nice to be full health. Mm, I'm suspicious of this box. Please open that. No, 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 open that, please, real quick. It's super suspicious. Thank you. Rubicite? That sounds important. Neato. All right. Uh, we'll head down the. Yee, that's watery. Uh, please open these for me. I need you guys to open them. I'm sorry. I can't, uh... I can't trust these boxes. Especially not that one in the middle. Alright. Neato. Alright, I got treasure. Uh, okay. So, before going down, let's go up. Yeah, being back on the assassin is... A, like just like super refreshing now that I like like I was using a lot of like the wrong uh, improvement skills or buffs or whatever this can't be a trap well I suppose it could have been and uh, it was like super hurting me because evidently like I mean I had collected like a bunch of like the uh, like ability enhancement things I don't remember what they're called now like they're just they're, they're like perks basically and uh it just had not been going for me the way I wanted it to, because I had like done it wrong. Ooh. Here, I'm gonna gale harness before I go down there. Whoa! Random guy, man. That was a weird cutscene. Silent Heart, Dragon Forged. Okay. Interesting. What am I getting myself into? Possible to fall to an without ever Stay 
Wait. Where does this go? Oh, it's a treasure chest. Hmm. The music is getting really eerie. Huh. I suppose I should go left first. That's also a direction. Hmm, a chest. Open it. Fucking, of course. There we go. Okay, dry myself off. What's up with that noise? What's going on with this noise? Is that death scythe? That's not death, right? Oh shit. It's totally death. Okay, two things. I need to be immune to sleep. Alright. I'm going to try and get past him. I don't want to die here. Awesome. The exit. Okay, good. Okay, the spar yard of scant mercy. I think I had killed everything there that was of like importance. Let's dispel Gale Harness for now. Whoa. Now choose. Stand against me or speak your wish. Offer your beloved in forfeit, and I shall see your will done. Is she a dragon? Choose. How am I to choose? No matter my answer, the price is dead. Hollow choice. Who am I to stand as arbiter of two lives? Two lives. What would you have me do? You brought me here. You, if this be the will of the gods, the order of the world, then damn the lot of them. What the hell? Whoa. Hey, chain, 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 well. guts. If that be your wish, I shall claim my price. Stop! No! Huh. You have no use of standing this condition, is it? Uh, it's worth it. <laughs> 